Hey guys, in this video, I'll walk you through this new drip irrigation setup I installed for my tent. The drippers will allow me to have more control over my watering schedule, help me prevent wasting nutrients in water. To start, I hooked up my low pressure submersible pump to the main watering line. I then made an irrigation loop at the bottom of the tent, and the loop will help equalize the pressure in the main line. Seeing as how I don't have a high pressure pump, I modified the Floraflex drippers and added a non-pressure emitter. I also added a shutoff valve to the line in case I don't want to use all the drippers. On the other end, it's just a simple Floraflex original dripper. To connect the drippers to the main line, I'll be using this puncher tool to do so. The emitters are self-tapping, but I figured I saved my fingers the hassle. I first marked where I wanted the lines to start, and then started punching the holes. I'll be installing 3 lines per pot for a total of 12 lines. Once that was done, I pushed the emitters into the line. Once the whole setup was completed, the next step was to make sure there was no leaks. I turned on the pump and checked every fitting. Two of my shutoff valves were leaking, so make sure to order extra fittings in case. Once all the leaks were fixed, I inspected each dripper to make sure that they were working properly. After that, I wanted to see how much water one dripper was giving per minute. I put one dripper in my graduated cylinder and turned on the pump. After a minute, I was getting around 38 milliliters per dripper. I'll use this data when starting the grow to calculate how long I should be feeding. I'll start the pump and monitor the total runoff at different intervals. As soon as I see my runoff is between 10 and 15% of the total feeding at the moment, I'll stop the pump and know how long my timer should be set to. I added the 1.2 gallon buckets back in the tent and connected them to the runoff pump. I started the drippers and made sure there was no leaks and that the pump was working properly. That's it guys, don't hesitate to let me know if you have any questions in the comments and I'll list the equipment I use in the description box below. Peace.